Calgary, a metropolis located on the edge of mountains and prairies. A city I called home for the last five months. As beautiful as it is, the big city life stresses me out and I'm attracted by the call of the wild. Welcome to the second episode of converting this car into my new home. I didn't even hit the road yet, but I'm already running out of storage room. So I'm gonna build a roof rack today. Unfortunately, my Jeep just came with these flash rails where you can't mount the roof rack in a sturdy way. So I have to replace them by these ones. I got of a salvage Jeep from a scrapyard. These flush rails are basically just a piece of plastic. So I tried to gently remove them with this screwdriver. There we go. <sighs> that was easier than expected. So I'm just gonna clean this mess up a little bit. And then we're good to, to mount the rice rails. These race threads will just be mounted with these two screws in the front and in the back. All right, looks pretty good. Let's test if it's sturdy. <laughs> All right, that's, that's definitely good. So we can put back on the covers here. Originally my plan was to build the roof rack out of aluminium so I drove all over the town to a metal store and was shocked when I got the quote. To give you an impression they asked for two grand just for the aluminium. So that's freaking pricey. So I had to look out for alternatives and came across wood even though I was a bit worried about the lifespan and the stability at first. This is what the roof rack is gonna look like. I would just mount it with these U-bolts but I won't be able to mount the last and the first one so I will just fix them all together with this long bar. This is actually my first time ever using one of these bad boys but can't be too hard, right? <laughs> Tip number one is done. Unfortunately I chipped two pieces of wood that it meant to. To prevent it I drilled a a line of holes on the other side, it might help, we will see. Um, yeah, I will do the finish with the file later, once all the chiseling is done. Holy shit, it's so exhausting. Alright, the planks are all chiseled and sanded, so next step, or last step before I can finally mount it, is to paint it. I got some black spray paint that hopefully matches the color of the roof rails. I painted the wood with two layers of paint or one base layer and one layer of actual paint. These ones are already done. The rest is dying over there and I just found out that uh, these two roof rails, the distance between them, isn't the same in the front and in the back. Definitely something I should have recognized earlier, but it shouldn't affect the result. Now the fun part begins. <laughs> Holy shit. So I screwed in three screws in total and all of them broke. Definitely should get some new screws. Holy shit dude, it takes forever to just build a roof rack because everything fails. Alright, that's it for today. This was the first DIY project on my car and it was about to turn into a complete disaster. The cord wheel I just got broke down. To be fair, I got it from Goodwill. Um, lessons learned, don't buy electronics at Goodwill. And the, the, the screws, they were just snapping by screwing them into the wood. So I don't know what's wrong with them. Uh, at this point I was very frustrated, but got new screws and started over the next day.
Even though I doubted at some points, I'm quite satisfied with the result. I also installed a DIY ski rack and a cargo box. And actually I'm, I'm already driving with this setup for several weeks now. And it turns out to be rock solid. And how it turns out over the long term remains to be seen. But would you trust the wood? <laughs>